हेलो टीम वेलकम टू आवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ द आईपीएल प्रोसेस सो टुडे वी अंडरस्टैंड सम बेसिक कांसेप्ट ऑफ द आईपीएल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद टुडेस टॉपिक सो आवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज लोड पैरामीटर सो व्हाट इज लोड पैरामीटर इन अ आईपीएल सो लोड पैरामीटर इज अ एट कैरेक्टर लॉन्ग एंड इट कंटेन द फॉलोइंग इंफॉर्मेशन द फर्स्ट फोर कैरेक्टर्स कैरेक्टर्स 1 2 4 it shows the load parameter it specifies the device number of the volume containing the iodf data set by default it is sysres next one is the load xx member so it use the character 5 and 6 here id of the load xx member to be used and by default it is load 00 Next one is the IMS I. Here, character seven is used, and I stands for Initial Masses Suppression Indicator IMS I. The default suppressed most informational masses and does not prompt for the system parameter, and it will use the load x x value. Last one is the nucleus A and and it is the eighth character of the load parameter so here nucleus id to be used by default it is 1 so now we understand what is the address space so in addition to initializing the system area in the geos established system component has the address space it established and the address space for the master scheduler and other subsystem address space for various subsystem and the system component here some of the component address space are master alloc app catalog and so on the master scheduler address space is the first system component address space to be created in asid is equal to 1 then the master scheduler may start the primary job entry subsystem like jes2 or jes3 on many production system jes is not started immediately instead an automatic package start all the task in the control sequence then other defined sequence are started all the subsystems are defined in the palm leaf library in the member in jes ssn nx these subsystems are the secondary subsystems in this diagram some of the important system component address space for the started task like vtam vtam kicks tso logon are there TSO user and the batch initiator. Each address space has two GB of the virtual storage by default. Whether the system is running in 31 bit or 64 bit mode. This is the virtual storage layout for multiple address space. For master to SMS, it has the system and the subsystem address space. In last one is the batch job. before it is the tso logon and vtam cics and tso all are the started task so now we are going to discuss the various palm leaf library for ipl process there were different types of palm leaf library so let's understand one by one so first one is the iodf 03 6101 so this specifies the hlq in the iodf data set name sys1.iodfxx next one is the nucleus 1 it gives the version of the iea nucox if not is specified the nucleus id it's specified in the load palm is considered if both not given in a taken as by default Next one is the sysparm 00. So sysparm 00 it specifies the version of the system parameter i e a s y s x x to be used. Next one is the n u c l s t 00. So this is specifies the version of the nucleus x x palm leaf 
be used must be a present in the same data set as the load xx member next one is the sys1.palmleaf so sys1.palmleaf is used the logical palmleaf concatenation system search for the different palmleaf only in these data set and we miss this one sysplex dot cpa cplex so this one is used for the name of the sysplex in which the system is a member here all like column is column values defined 1 to 6 is the syscat 10 to 15 is the volume serial 16 is the icf volume now we are trying to understand load xx system configuration data set so load xx member specifies the information about your input output configuration as specified by the iodf xx suffix to be used and alternate nucleus id nucleus xx member that you use to add or delete module from the nucleus region at ipl time the name of master catalog information about the palm limb concatenation all this information also the name of sysplex that means system complex so column 1 to 4 we have the iodf column 11 to 10 we have iodf suffix that means this suffix is appended to nn iodf to from the name of the nn dot iodf xx data set next one is the 13 to 20 column we have the hlq that means high level qualifier for the iodf data set name this qualifier is added to the iodf xx to form the name of the nn dot iodf xx data set next one is the column 31 to 32 we have Default it's 00. It's a eligible device table identifier. Next one is the nucleus. So nucleus statement identify the IEANUCOX member of sys1.nucleus that your system is to use. In nucleus we have 1 to 7 column is nucleus and in 10 column has a one digit suffix appended to the i o n u c o sorry i e a n u c o to select a member of the sys1 dot nucleus by default it is one next is the nucleus so here the this is the statement to identify the NUCLSTXX palm leaf member that your system is used and this member must reside in the same data set as the load XX member. Here column 1 to 6 we have the nucleus and column 10 to 11 we have a two character suffix appended to the nucleus to select this member by default we can use none next one is the palm leaf so for palm leaf column 1 to 7 we have used palm leaf column 10 to 53 it's required the valid data set name there is no default value next one is 55 to 60 column it's the optional valid volume name so this is all from the system configuration data set.